If you asked me where was my best day in my life, I would have told you the day I came to Bereskit. Three brothers took a stand to protect Jewish freedoms from the Nazis during the Holocaust. They organized a partisan group which saved over a thousand people. These brothers were heroes, and the mastermind behind it all was the man with the natural inborn ability to leave, Tuva Belsky. In my eyes, he was the biggest hero ever to be. I would rather save one old Jewish woman than kill 10 Nazi soldiers. The Bolesky Partisan Group was one of the most significant Jewish resistance efforts against Nazi Germany during World War II. The brothers, Tuvia, Zeus, Aaron, and Assel, were to lose their parents and siblings to the cruelty of the Nazis, beginning with the creation of ghettos and leading to mass slaughters. In the month of June 1941, Nazi Germany, along with its Axis allies, invaded the Soviet Union. Within two months, all of eastern Poland and present-day Belarus territory was occupied by the Germans. Once the Nazis invaded, all the generosity towards the Jewish people was to be forgotten. This policy would come as no surprise to the Jews of Eastern Europe, who had been oppressed in countless ways throughout their entire history in this region. Life under the Germans would be no different. Charles Bedzow, a Bolesky partisan from Lida, a city northeast of Novgorodik, said the following about the invasion of the Nazis. We were victims. They, they wanted to destroy us and to kill us. And thanks to Tevye Bielski, our commander-in-chief of the Bielski Brigade, he wanted to save Jews and, and taking them out from the ghetto. 1,200 Jews survived. The Nazis imposed a brutal racist regime, burning down some 9,000 Belarusian villages, deporting millions of civilians, including some 380,000 people for slave labor. Almost the entire Jewish population of Belarus, who did not initially evacuate, was killed, and at least 9,000 Belarusian settlements were destroyed by the Nazis. December 8, 1941. The four Bolesky brothers managed to flee to a nearby forest after their parents and other family members were killed in the North Grudek ghetto by the Germans. After this tragedy, Tavia and his younger brother Zeus vowed to never be caught by the Germans. The four Bolesky brothers were the founders of the group of Bolesky partisans and would go on to form one of the most successful rescue efforts during the Holocaust. In the spring of 1942, together with 13 neighbors from the ghetto, they formed the Otriad, or the Partisans' Community, in the Zabi Lovo and Paralaz forests. This group initially consisted of around 30 of their immediate surviving relatives and close friends. The brothers urged friends, neighbors, and then strangers to escape the ghettos and join them in the forest. Tuvia was the commander of the group, Assel was his deputy, Zeus was in charge of reconnaissance. Operating in Western Belarusia or Belarus between 1942 and 1944, the guiding philosophy of the Bolesky brothers and other leaders of the Jewish resistance was that all Jews must be protected. They insisted on absolute obedience from anyone who wanted to join them and their credo was to save lives. They felt saving Jews superseded taking revenge on the Germans. The Belsky Otriad would seek out Jews in the nearby Lida, Novogrodek, Minsk, Ivy, Mir, Baranuvas and other ghettos willing to risk escape to the forest and encourage them to join their group. Those who listened to the Belsky call were the fortunate few who survived despite harsh weather and a state of continual vigilance and warfare. Additionally, they frequently sent guides into the ghettos to escort people to the forest. Many came through the assistance of the family of Konstantin Kozlowski, a non-Jew who provided shelter for Jews escaping from the Novo Grudok ghetto and worked with the partisans to free hundreds of Jews from the ghetto. Many Jews hiding in the forest and smaller family groups joined the Belsky group. It was in this primitive and unlikely setting that the Belsky group created a community. Over the next three years, approximately 1,200 Jews joined the Belsky Otriad. Over the years, the Belsky brothers were constantly moving the community to new forest locations to avoid detection, something that became more and more difficult as the population grew to over a thousand people. The Belskys found themselves fighting on four fronts and they were never safe due to the constant threat from the German and local police, as well as from local peasants, many of them Nazi collaborators who were willing to turn them in. Most of all, they had to guard against internal dissension. 
The Belsky Otriad carried out food raids, killed German collaborators, and sometimes joined with Russian partisan groups in anti-Nazi missions. In mid-1942, Tuvia decided that if he and his fellow Jews were to survive, he must acquire arms and organize all Jewish resistance groups. With the help of non-Jewish Belarusian friends, they were able to acquire guns. In late 1942, a special mission saved over 100 Jews from the Evi ghetto, just as the Germans planned to liquidate it. Belsky scouts constantly searched the roads for Jewish escapees in need of protection. In contrast to Russian partisan units and many of the other Jewish units that restricted participation to young men capable of fighting, the Bileskis took in any Jew and actively helped liberate Jews from nearby ghettos to join the unit. Women, children, and the elderly were accepted into their partisan group, including Jewish refugees who had fled other partisan units or ghettos. Despite some opposition from within the group, Tavia Bileski never wavered in his determination to accept and protect all Jewish refugees, regardless of age and gender. However, there were enormous strains of life in the forest that the Ochi had dealt with on a daily basis. There were very few children in the community, as women were often encouraged to have abortions in order to prevent extra burdens on the Ochi resources. Unattached women face more dangers than those with lovers, and on several occasions, women took lovers for the purpose of gaining safety. Until the summer of 1943, the group led a nomadic existence in the forest. In August of 1943, the Germans began a massive manhunt directed against Russian, Polish, and Jewish partisans in the region. At this time, there was approximately 700 Jews in the Otriad. Due to increased security, the community was beginning to feel frightened that they would be discovered by the Germans and killed. As a result of this fear, the Bileski group moved in December 1943 to what became a permanent base in the Nalaboki Forest, a swampy, scarcely accessible region on the right bank of the Neiman River, east of Lida and northeast of Norgrudik. At its height, the Otriad camp consisted of a long camouflage dugouts for sleeping, a large kitchen, a mill, a bakery, a bathhouse, two medical facilities, a tannery, a school, a jail, and a theater. About 60 cows and 30 horses provided food and transportation, while tailors, seamstresses, shoemakers, watchmakers, carpenters, mechanics, and experts in demolition provided the community with necessary skills. The leadership managed a primitive infirmary, a school for the children, a synagogue, and even a courthouse and jail. Beyond meeting the needs of its own members, the Bileski or Triad was able to provide services to other partisan groups in exchange for food and arms. Tavia's group was the largest of the Jewish partisans at the time. On June 22, 1944, Soviet troops initiated a massive offensive attack in eastern Belarusia. Within six weeks, the Soviet army had destroyed the German Army Group Center and swept westward to the Vistula River in Poland, liberating all of Belarusia. Despite their survival method, more than 1,000 Belsky Jews emerged triumphantly from the forest. Encampment as a testimony to their resistance to the Nazi tyranny and campaign of murder. More than 70% were women, elderly persons, and children who otherwise would have been perished under the German occupation. After the end of World War II in 1945, Tuvia and Zeus Bileski emigrated with their families to Palestine. They both fought in the Israeli armed forces during the 1948 war that established the Israeli state. Many of other partisans migrated to the United States, Israel, and other countries in Western Europe. Zeus and Tuvia subsequently emigrated to the United States, while Assad went to serve in the Soviet army. A high percentage of those with Bileski brothers died and survived due to 